Yo, what's up everybody? I want to make a quick video on this free logo maker I keep seeing from Canva. Now, I do have a paid Canva account. We've used Canva from time to time for certain things. My business partner, Amanda, uses Canva a lot. We use it for social media, but they have a free logo maker. So I wanted to test it out. I recently did a logo for a company called Cruise Landscaping. And let me just pull that up real quick. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's the concepts we came up with for Cruise Landscaping. Here's a PDF. Really beautiful tree logo. He wanted to keep the tree, that's what he's using now. This was a concept with a certain type of typography. But the final logo is this one here with this more clean, professional, corporate type of typography. So what I wanna do is I wanna to go to the logo Canva maker and see if I could have done a better job inside of Canva than I did the traditional route of creating a logo. So let's go ahead and jump in and do this. All right, so here is our canvas it looks like. So let me just go ahead and type in tree. This one actually is pretty similar, has a little bit of a different background. Black Oak Tree Company. A little bit of a different tree, but it's an oak tree. That's what we were going for on his concept. Here's another one with three different trees. This is a pretty decent tree. I don't think I'm gonna be able to separate these because these are one image. I might be able to crop them. Let's see if I can crop them. Nope, it doesn't let me crop it. Here's another oak tree. Ugh, I don't like that tree at all. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm just not seeing anything that really speaks to me that has the oak tree in it that's memorable. Remember our three different rules for logo design. Simple, memorable, and applicable. Right? None of these are really that simple. None of these are really that applicable. So the last one that I did on the original Cruise Landscaping logo, if you look at this here, this is a custom tree. Custom branch, custom tree leaves. You're not gonna find a tree out there that exists that looks like this. So this is kind of one of the advantages of doing it the traditional way and why you should pay a logo designer or somebody should pay you as a logo designer to do this so you can create something custom and unique that's not templated. Um, I'm just really not seeing anything here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pick one that looks good, that is acceptable. Um, so we're already making our first compromise, right? We're compromising on the quality of this. Oh, what is this one here? That's not the right kind of tree either. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back all the way up. We're gonna go back to the first tree. That was the oak tree that I liked. And we're gonna go ahead and try to use this one. Now, there's so many different details in here. I'm gonna take that out. Oh, that was the company. Okay, so I really don't need that because I got cruise landscaping. And then I don't really need this circle. Oh, so this is all one image. So I can't even, I can't even really edit this image. I'm kind of stuck with this tree the way it is. Okay, so let me see if I can find the, this thing without it. And the goal wasn't to necessarily have the exact same logo, but to come up with a better logo, right? Here's oak tree. We're just gonna have to stick with this, okay? And then we're gonna call this Cruise Landscaping. Okay, I'll make this a little smaller. Okay, and established, change this, 1988. Okay, and you know that on the other one, I had it kind of tucked in. And again, my goal is to not necessarily make the same logo, but I wanna make it better. So I'm gonna go ahead and align this to the other side. There we go, 1988. In fact, it needs to come in some more. Probably up, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna light it to the ground on both sides. So there we go. Looks a little bit better. We can take out this company. Now I want to make this tree a different color. Let's see if I can make it a different color. I want a dark green. Oh, see, it does let you do that. So that's good. That's good that I can make it a different color. That gives me some, at least, editability. Um, but I want to use a darker green. So let me go into here. Let's make this a darker, more foresty. There we go. Like, like right there. Oops, like right there. Okay. And then let's look through our fonts. So we got a Roboto as the standard one here. I wanna use something that's classy, that looks similar to this, but maybe even looks even better. So let's see if we can find something better. Popular fonts. Argent is a good font. 
That one's decent. Let's go ahead and make this one the same color as this. And then let's look at these side by side real quick. You just really can't beat the tree. Um, let me try some other things. So what if we were to do something a little bit different? So let's just try to find, let's see here, a different font style. I feel really restricted as a designer. As a creative, see there we go, this is nice. I like this, let's change this over too. Boom, right there, that one's a line over there. And I just, I don't know why you need the D in here. I'm just gonna take this out. EST 1988, established in 1988. Now that I see this, um, I think I'm going to align these in the center so that they're center aligned. There we go. There we go. That looks pretty decent. But you can see here again, this tree is just not as cool. The font is good, I like this font. I think that this is a good font. This was one of the ones I was considering for this client. Um, I can make this a little bit bigger, I can space this out. So if you wanna do something simple, you wanna do something fast, this could be a really good way to go. Uh, let me see here if we were to try to apply this maybe to a different concept and see if we can come up with something really cool. So let's just try one more. So that's one concept to try to make something similar but just the tree just doesn't look as good. So I wanna do a completely different concept and see if we can come up with something really cool here. So let's go ahead and look. Let's see, this is kinda of cool. Where's the tree at? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I think it's, it's a good potential alternative. Cruise landscaping. And then what I can do here again is make it smaller. All right, and make sure it's centered, which it is. Okay, and then we can put EST to, oops, 1988. Now that's not a bad logo. Now, here's the secret sauce that I wanna make sure that you guys understand. Like I could turn this into green, which is a really important aspect of what they wanted for their brand is the green color. So I'm gonna use this dark green that I used before. There we go. I actually have to make it even darker, so let's just go back to like the darker color. There we go. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on the typography. Now, because it's on this parchment style paper, which is actually what we're doing on their final business cards and some of their letterhead and stuff, let me make sure I switch this out too. I'm gonna make this probably green as well, just to kind of give it a cohesive look across. Now let's take out this background and see if this still looks great. See, I'm just not a fan. Now, what about kerning? See, this is another deal. How can you kern these letters? See if it allows you to. So let's see, do drop shadows, curves, position. Let's see here. Nope. Kerning is important. If you don't know what kerning is, is the distance between the letters. I want the letters to be a little closer together. It doesn't let me do that. So unfortunately, I'm super restricted onto even editing the distance of the letters. Now it's, it's, nicely curved, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's nicely curved. I would like to see them a little closer together because it's just taking up so much space. But again, I'd have to find a different font and I have to figure out how to bring those letters closer together. There's just a lot of restrictions when it comes to Canva. So if you're looking to design a logo for your clients and you're maybe looking to brainstorm ideas, this could be a good, good place to start brainstorming and send the clients some different concepts and see what they like. But you gotta remember, there's nothing that's gonna be an original art form. There's no other tree on the planet that looks like this one because I custom created it. There's nothing that's as prominent and as vibrant that stands out like this one. They absolutely love their new logo and I'll show you some of the other different concepts you can see here. This is the different layouts that I'm doing for their logo. I was able to put it inside of a box. You can see here, I put the established 1988. They're gonna use this tree on their hats, right? It's, it's a signature type of design. And so I think this is a really good, really good design. In fact, I got feedback on one of them here. I'll show you. Let's go back. The overwhelming feedback I got was the winner of it that everybody liked for Cruise Landscaping. Oh, this is not it. Let me just go into their folder real quick here. 
Okay, here. The overwhelming majority. Let's see, we're going to logo files. Give you a little sneak peek into my file system here. We're going to go to their final logos. And you'll be able to see here firsthand. See, approved. This is how we organize all of our stuff. And let's just go to the PDFs. So here's the different concepts of the final logos for Cruise Landscaping. Look at that one stacked. So look at how beautiful this looks. Even without the established, this beautiful tree, it's prominent, it's significant. It actually leaves an impression. It's simple, it's memorable. And this font is just right on the money. We even custom kerned it. And this is something I was gonna share as well that is really important. Look at what I did with this A. Look how clean and simple it is this. I have it happening on both A's. Just a nice little subtle touch that makes this font completely unique, that makes this logo completely unique from anybody else. You can't do that with Canva. Cool, this looks decent, but is this really what you want to represent your logo? If you were to put that on a dark background, in fact, I'm just gonna do that real fast. Let's just do this. Okay, let's just grab this shape. Boom, there we go, there's the green shape. We're gonna, just gonna do it just like I did on the other one. We're gonna send this to the back. So if we position this backwards, all the way to the back, and then you have this image on top. We take the image and we turn it white. See what I'm saying? It just doesn't have, it's just not memorable. The tree is kind of a, I don't know, I just couldn't find a good tree. Maybe that's the problem, but I'd love to know what you think. Do you think this is a better logo than what I created on my own? Or do you think it was worth me spending more time to create a logo from scratch, a custom logo with a custom tree? Give me your feedback, I'd love to know. Wanted to kind of show you firsthand if the logo makers are worth it. If you need a custom logo or if you want a custom logo done for you, you know who to call. Just give me a buzz. You can hit the link down in the description. Go to my website, contact me directly. I'd love to help you. So that's what I got for you guys on this video. I'm Adrian Boysell. I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, keep looking up.